And the question is, is this the one that some, mm. some poor bugger is going to, is just going to collapse somebody? Is this the one? And there shouldn't be one person, Tommy, I didn't give a stuff. There shouldn't be one person who suffers as a result of economic policy. Not one. I don't care if someone's, oh, well, it doesn't matter if there's a thousand out of three million or a million. There shouldn't be one person who innocently suffers from government policy. Not one. I don't, I don't cop the greater benefit because if you're the person who suffers, why should you be the dude who suffers and your family? That's wrong. The one thing that you've really hit home and uh, I'm seeing it happen, Mark. I haven't seen it happen in my time. I've been living here. It's my whole life in Australia. You hear about it in other countries. The rich are rich. They're over there. The poor are watching them. It wasn't the Australian way, but it appears to be coming the Australian way. I was in Melbourne over the weekend. I was watching these people in their 50s and 60s, nice cars, get out, going to the races. Life's good, dressed up. And then I came, flew back here, Mark, I flew back here and I did an auction. So I did the auction for the block on the Saturday and I was in Melbourne, I saw it, and then I flew back and I did an auction in Campsy in Tudor Street. And I looked at the people in Campsy and I thought to myself, we're in the one country, but it's becoming two different worlds. It's very, very, uh, very, very clear. It's becoming very, very clear. The rich are getting richer and the poor are getting the picture as the Midnight Oil Peter Garrett song goes, you know? 